What to do about bipolar? Understand it. If you look at the word bipolar, bi meaning two poles, two poles. Look at it as your magnetic field, north, south, eastern hemisphere, southern, or western hemisphere. Um, that's a clue into it right there. But what happens is that the divide doesn't get recognized. So there's a this right here in the center observing this pole and this pole. Happy, sad, ecstatic, depressed. But there's always this that's watching this and watching that. Because this wants to control this and that. It's always trying to get to the ecstatic to the good feelings, but it doesn't believe that it is the good feelings because it's got all this bad feelings on the other pole that it's attached to. And basically, think of it like a string or something. You know, you've got all the good right here and it's strung to you. To your mind, here's the good with a string going to it. And the same with the other side. Here's the bad with a string going to it. Okay, so there you got good, bad, and you. I see the bad. Oh my god, what am I gonna do about this? It's growing too big, it's consuming me. <laughs> when that happens, look what happens. You're paying attention to this, and all this good is right here that you're not even looking at. All you see is the big monster coming to get you. And then when you're ecstatic, all you see is, yay, all this good and stuff, and then you can't see the bad things. All you gotta do is know your place, as the observer of both of them. They're just there. They're there. Good, bad. They're there. You're here. Observing both of them. If you want another mental trick, cut the string to the bad one. <laughs> I mean, you're gonna experience it, but you're not attached to it. But that's the whole bipolar thing. Two poles with an observer. Don't get consumed. Oh my god. <laughs> Sleep good. Good night.